afternoon. Will everyone please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations, graduates. Uh, my name is Steve Bowersox, and I'm honored to be part of the 121st graduation of Westminster High School. Tomorrow is the 40th anniversary of my own graduation from Westminster High School. I know I'm old. I know, I'll go for it. Um, as all of the graduates know, and many of you in the audience know, I'm not supposed to be the person speaking to you at this time. Uh, the speaker at this podium should be Robert Bird Brown. We lost Bird a little over a month ago, but we are fortunate that he left us with some pearls of wisdom from the speech he gave two years ago during the 2019 graduation ceremony. I'm going to try to incorporate some of his thoughts into this speech. Class of 2021, to say that you've had one of the more interesting senior years in recent memory would be a huge understatement. Many of the activities that normally occur during a senior year didn't, or they were altered to fit the circumstances. Our traditional way of doing school and all extracurricular activities changed. Adjustments had to be made. This was something everyone had to deal with, but it definitely altered what we normally believe a senior year or just a school year is supposed to be. And you met the challenge. You wore masks. You learned virtually. You participated in sports during odd times of the year. Seasons were shortened. Band and choral performances were performed outside on the lawn or in the courtyard. A school play was produced without an audience and streamed over the internet and then performed in the courtyard. A prom was held on Main Street and one in a barn. And that seems like the perfect segue to our holding graduation at the Carroll County Agricultural Center. Um, I'm a native Carroll Countyan, so I think this is pretty cool but it is different. In his 2019 graduation speech, Bird said that life isn't fair. Get used to it. You have had a front row seat for that this year, actually beginning in March of your junior year. Obstacles were put in your way, but you dealt with them and continued to move forward. The unintentional outcome of this year is that you learned how to adapt. You learn to make do with what you had to make do with. And here you are today, graduates of Westminster High School. In the future, when you are talking to your children, grandchildren, nieces or nephews, or just a kid down the street, and they approach you and say something about how hard high school is, or that it isn't fair that they have to take this class or that class or whatever, you can say without hesitation, you think you have it tough in high school? <laughs> Sit down, hold my water bottle. Let me tell you a story about my senior year. You won't even have to lie about walking uphill in the snow both ways to school. You have an actual story to tell. Um, you should be very proud of yourselves for the journey you took to get to this point. It certainly hasn't been easy. Another bit of wisdom that Bird passed along in his 2019 speech was that you shouldn't be too tough on yourself. 
Bird detailed his less than stellar 0.00 grade point average his first year of college. And as much as some of you looked up to Bird, that is one of his accomplishments that your parents would very much appreciate if you did not match. <laughs> the point he was making was that he didn't let that get him down and stop him from achieving success in his life. I think that setback may have been when Bird began thinking of what his dash was going to look like. The same thought can be applied to all of you. This year was rough on everyone, and many of us were not at our best every day. Many of us had moments and perhaps days of self-doubt. If you were sitting out there and you struggled this year academically, or you struggled making adjustments to all the social distancing, lack of socializing, etc., cut yourself some slack. High school can be difficult to navigate under normal circumstances, and you navigated this past year during a pandemic. Whatever you have planned for next year, going to school, going to work, entering the military, you get a fresh start. Make the best of it. Put this year in your rearview mirror and take positive steps forward. On April 26, we all learned a lesson, or had it reinforced. Life is short and nothing is promised. Most graduation speeches make use of a few go-to cliches that often seem tired out and hollow. To end this speech, I'm going to use several of them because I think the circumstances of this year and this last month or so have given them new life and meaning. Enjoy life. Have fun. Don't sweat the small stuff. Try to give back more than you take. Leave the planet a better place because you were here. Get involved in your community. Don't always make life about you and what you want. Think of others. And to wrap this up, do as Bird would want, as your parents and guardians want, and as we all want for you, make the most of your dash. Again, congratulations, graduates and their families. Welcome to the Westminster High School alumni family. Thank you, Mr. Bowersox, and thank you, Robert Bird Brown, for those words that you gave us in 2019 and again in 2021. Welcome to the 121st graduating class of Westminster High School. We have several special guests here to share in this momentous occasion. It is indeed a pleasure for us to have you here as we celebrate the graduates of Westminster High School and the accomplishments of the class of 2021. Will the following distinguished guests please stand to be recognized when your name is called? Will the audience please hold your applause until all are introduced? Dr. Stephen Lockhart, Superintendent. Dr. Patricia Dorsey, board member. Mr. Dennis Frazier, commissioner. Mr. Eric King, director of high schools. Mr. Tom Klaus, assistant principal. In our audience, Mr. Kamani Jones, assistant principal. Ms. Rivera, Ms. Mary Rivera, assistant principal. Please give them a wonderful round of applause for joining us today. Our other assistant principal, Ms. Katie Nefflin, couldn't be here this evening or this afternoon to, to join us. Another group of special adults here with us this evening are the faculty and staff of Westminster High School. They are an incredible group of individuals who also strived through this pandemic. Their names are printed in your program. Many are stationed around locations within this arena and helped earlier with the setup and the organization and will help with the cleanup. Would those members of the Westminster High School staff please stand and be recognized? <laughs> Mr. Bowersox referred to a 
huge group of individuals, the alumni of Westminster High School. If there are any members of the Westminster High School alumni here with us today, would you please stand and be recognized? We're about to add 417 more to that group. I would like to thank Mr. Steve Bowersox, Ms. Lauren Kimball, the graduation marshals for all of their assistance throughout this ceremony and for the graduation week. Would those two please stand and be recognized? There are two groups of individuals who do a ton of work behind the scenes, both at Westminster and here. I'm going to name a few of them individually and then a group of them collectively. Our clerical staff, Ms. Joyce Seely, Ms. Karen Lear, Ms. Karen Novacheski, Ms. Laurie Crum, Ms. Teresa Sharkey, Ms. Michelle Over, Ms. Lisa Dorman, Ms. Jackie Engelbreak, Ms. Dana Ricketts, and Ms. Ruth Chamberlain for helping for this organize this ceremony. I would also, in this same recognition, like to congratulate our amazing custodial staff that not only has worked tremendously through this pandemic, but helped and assisted setting up this facility, was instrumental in organization of this ceremony, but day in and day out worked tirelessly for very little recognition. Those members, if they're in the audience or around, if they would please stand and be recognized. A special thank you goes out to Ms. Laura, Laura Doolin for her work on the senior video as she stepped in at last minute, helping to coordinate not only that, but this graduation ceremony. Her work with our school is tremendous, and she is also a graduate of Westminster High School, which she stand to be recognized. In addition to, to her, Mr. Terry Malloy, who measured seats, measured the sections, came up with 14 different plans to set this arena up, cuts grass, lives at our school, I think. Mr. Terry Malloy, please stand and be recognized as in the back corner. And finally, I'd like to recognize the parents and guardians. Your support has been instrumental in the success of the students seated before you. You've assisted them with homework, provided transportation to and from school events. You attended parent conferences, even when you didn't want to attend those parent conferences. You attended athletic events, concerts, got phone calls from us at different time frames, had to run and get materials over the last two years, lined up in a parking lot, that stretched down Washington Road. Thank you for sharing your sons and daughters with us. Today we celebrate their accomplishment with you. Would you please stand and be recognized, the parents of our graduates. Class of 2021, I have something simple to say to you and that I'm done pretty much for the day without a few, with just a few instructions towards the end. As I've said a couple times during our award ceremony, I'm going to miss each and every one of you. You are extremely special. I've been involved in education for more than 30 years of my life, and I've been a high school administrator for 15 of those years. And I will tell you that I think you are the most spectacular senior class that I have been involved with, and you are incredible. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2021. Look at us. We actually made it. 
To be honest with you, I was hoping with COVID I would have gotten out of this whole speech. However, all hope was lost when I received an email from Ms. Mongold asking what date worked best for our graduation speech Google Meet. So today, I stand before you not only as a fellow graduate, but as your school SGA president, and I'm here to give you the best speech I can. Oh my goodness, okay. I'd like to start off with asking parents, family members, and family friends to think about the graduates they have come to support today. It would be easy to just say the past year and a half, but to put it in numbers, 263 out of our 720 days of high school, which is just 100 days short of half of our high school careers, we've had to adapt to a total new way of learning, one in which many of us struggled to thrive. Besides spending this past year with the pressure of trying to figure out what we want to do with our lives, we've had to finish our high school careers in a totally unexpected way, facing new challenges and difficulties we could have never thought of before, and suffering from senioritis all at the same time. But here we are. We made it thanks to the support from all of you. Thirteen years ago, we started our education journey with all its life lessons in suit. Although a lot of our educational experiences were similar throughout, I believe it is truly our individual memories that helped to make them unique. I can almost remember it like it was yesterday, preparing for my very first day of school. Getting my first backpack and going school supply shopping with my mom. Asking for the bendy ruler, the pencil pouch that unzips all the way, and begging her to get me the 64 pack of crayons until she finally gave in. I remember trying to figure out what to wear for picture day for the first time on my own in fourth grade and coming to school with <laughs> everyone else dressed nice while I was wearing a Halloween shirt with striped sleeves. Mom and dad should not have let me leave the house. My ability to dress nice for picture day wasn't a skill I would develop until sophomore year. Then it was fifth grade graduation and time to leave elementary school, leaving line leaders behind and getting our first taste of independence. I remember walking into middle school for the first time with no idea what I was doing or where I was going. And if I'm quite honest, I prefer not to reminisce about the awkward phase of middle school, so let's just skip to eighth grade graduation and leaving without looking back. I remember the first day of freshman year perfectly. I was standing at the end of my driveway waiting for my bus to come. To say I was shocked as I watched my bus drive right past me is an understatement. I thought to myself, well, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is. High school came with a different independence than middle school. No lockers and three whole stories of scary. But this is where a lot of us have grown the most. I learned to be confident in who I am and not everyone is gonna like me and that's okay. Four years ago, we started this long journey called high school. Four years ago, we had our first day, our first class, our first advisory lesson, our first football game, and our first homecoming dance. Four years ago, we were told how fast this time would fly by and how we had and should use the power we had to make every second count. It's safe to say I didn't believe that until now. It feels like just yesterday, we were all sitting in the assembly where Mr. Bogger told us how we only had 720 days until we left. I can't believe it's been that long. Here we are now, and our 720 days have come to an end. All jokes aside, I'm truly going to miss the past few years. The teachers who stood by my side through the tough times, the friends who never failed to make me laugh, the lunch table drama that always spiced up the day, the laughs and tears I've shared with friends, the events I choose not to remember and the ones I'll never be able to forget, the most ruthless student section in Carroll County, and our failed senior prank. <laughs> These past four years were no walk in the park and things may not have always gone the way we had planned in our heads. But this class, we are resilient. We made it through the past 263 days, and we are here, decorated in our medals and cords regardless. We are living proof that nothing can stand in our way. You are all amazing. Congratulations, graduates. We should all be proud of ourselves. My fellow classmates, I stand here before you looking back on four exceptional years of legacy we have created together. Not only did we survive high school, but we survived a dangerous water war battle that I was quite certain would end in disaster. However, we did not make it here alone. I want to start out by thanking all of the parents, grandparents, siblings, and family of all the graduates here today. I know each and every senior did not get here by themselves. Take the time to not only celebrate our success, but to thank the 
individual people who got us here. Thank you to all of the Westminster High School teachers, administration, and staff for making Westminster a place to remember. Mr. Potts, thank you for relaxed football Fridays. Malloy, thank you for maintaining our precious Ruby Field. Ms. Seeley, thank you for dealing with every senior who forgot to mark their attendance this year. <laughs> Lastly, a special thank you to Bird Brown, a teacher, coach, mentor, and class advisor who has inspired many students and players at Westminster. He was so excited for this day. It's all he talked about, and he would have loved to be here cheering us on. Seniors, we have come a long way and have grown into incredible people. We have had to adapt and persevere through many obstacles this past year. We came in as bright freshmen, all trying to outgrow our awkward middle school phase. We had our first high school test, football game, pep rally, and spirit week. Then we were sophomores, and honestly, just happy not to be freshmen anymore. And suddenly, you became really cool when you got your license and could drive all your friends around, despite it being illegal for the first five months. One, mi one minor accident and speeding ticket later, we were juniors, upperclassmen, the quote, best time of your life. Personally, Patterpuff was the most fun I had junior year as we were victorious against the old and overrated seniors. It seems like in just a blink of an eye, we were the old and overrated seniors taking our portraits over the summer. Senioritis might as well been the plague this year. We skipped class like no other, and honestly, the hardest battle was staying awake on a Google Meet. Over the past four years, we have all hopefully experienced true friendships and made memories that will long be remembered. I know I, remember, I, know I won't remember my morning routine in Spanish, but I will remember making my first friend in advisory and the feeling of playing with my teammates. Reflecting on our time here, I asked a few classmates what their most memorable moment at WHS was. Alana Kernan said it was the pep rally junior year, an overall football experience. Michaela Reed said she enjoyed participating in high school sports as a spectator and a player. For Alan Jean Joseph, it was being tortured at football OTAs. Kirby Hedman faced a different kind of torture, trying to find her lost tooth on the field hockey field after a game. <laughs> we may not have had a typical junior year, but we managed to overcome many impediments throughout 13 years of school. Time multiplication tables, running the pacer, first dates, and broken hearts. Ben Dorsey, I'm talking to fifth grade you. <laughs> in all seriousness, we have finished school in the midst of a pandemic. However, we've been able to participate in many milestones. Congratulations to Westminster Athletics for not for reaffirming that W does not just stand for Westminster. You can forget about the girls' soccer season. Let's celebrate our state champions, field hockey and lacrosse teams, not to mention state finalists, WHS's volleyball, softball, and track teams. Let's also shout out three Westminster athletes recognized as Carroll County Player of the Year, Alexis Troy, Aaron Sorkin, and Eric Stranko. On another aspect, our theater community has produced excellent plays, including Clatch Me If You Can and Mamma Mia. Senior Alethea Hoffman and Waverly Brennan said hearing the applause after the show Mamma Mia was their favorite moment in theater. The auditorium was sold out in one of the largest productions at WHS. They felt an absolute sense of community among friends and so proud of everything that they had accomplished. We have had incredible success in, music, in the music department. In 2019, the marching band were state champions and had the opportunity to perform at Walt Disney as one of our last events together before COVID. Fellow graduates, COVID was unexpected and uprooted our lives. Suddenly, a two-week vacation turned into disinfecting groceries, taking family walks, and pass or fail grades. This year, our community has adapted to virtual learning and safely continued athletics and the arts, including outdoor concerts and Winter One Acts. We have accomplished so much as a class over four unusual years, and I congratulate all of you. This year has been full of ups and downs, and we even attended a prom we all thought we would no longer have. Thank you to the parents for putting on a beautiful and fun night. 
Today marks, so much, today marks the beginning of so much to come. Graduates, there has come a time where our parents have to stop scheduling our doctor's appointments and haircuts. I'll ask you this, graduates. Who do you want to be? My grandma, she idolizes me. She tells me, Julie, no one works harder than you. You will accomplish anything you put your mind to. When I got waitlisted at one of my top schools, she proclaimed that they had lost their mind. There was no possible way that was correct. She could not fathom that anyone was more hardworking, intelligent, or stronger than I am. My grandmother places me on a pedestal that I one day wish to reach. My hope is for all of us to become and flourish into the people our grandparents already think that we are. We all have the ability to achieve greatness. Our purpose after high school is not categorized by the job you have, because one day we will retire. Working hard for something is called stress. Working hard for something you love is called passion. Graduates, after today, our purpose is to find and follow our passion. What motivates you, inspires you, drives you to wake up every morning? And when you find it, stick with it. Be brave, guys, because what do we have to lose? I talked about our legacy before, the class of 2021, and what it means to go to school here. Westminster High School, we leave you behind today, but recognize our legacy started but will not end with you, but guide us to greatness. Thank you. Four years later, and here we are, standing on the edge of our future. It begins the second we walk across this stage and receive a diploma commemorating all that we achieved in high school. These pieces of paper with our names inscribed in ink and signed by Mr. Bogger are representative of all that we've overcome to get to this very moment. And trust me, there's no shortage of things to celebrate. Let's first celebrate the countless hours our teachers have dedicated and invested in their students. Let's celebrate the unwavering support we have received from friends and family to get to this moment. And let us celebrate the incredible accomplishments of every student walking across this stage this afternoon. The class of 2021 has made its mark on history. Amongst ourselves, there are athletes who hold school, county, and state championship titles. We have nationally ranked scholars, talented performers, Skills USA competitors, and countless other inspiring individuals with incredible achievements. And then there are some students who wrote their graduation speech the night before it was due. Whoops. We have a lot to be proud of, and our achievement will not stop once we walk out of these doors today. Whether we enter the workforce, the military, trade school, or college, each and every one of us holds the potential to be great. We can be great scholars, athletes, artists, and most importantly, great people. Just two years ago, I attended the Westminster High School graduation ceremony for my brother as he graduated with the class of 2019. Our beloved coach, teacher, and friend, Bird Brown, spoke during that ceremony, and his words resonate with me to this day. He stated that one day our gravestone will display two dates separated by a small dash, and what matters most is not the dates marking our birth and death, but the dash in between. Each of life's moments make up our dash, the small line that connects our first day to our last. This dash is how others will remember us, and it is imperative that we make these moments great. Great in how we treat others, in how we view the world, and how we treat ourselves. Each person has a different story, a different dash, and not a single one should be discounted or taken for granted. It is important to treat every day as if it matters. In the past year, I think we've all come to realize how quickly life can change. What started as a two-week spring break turned into a month, three months, and now an entire year that we have been apart. None of us knew our senior year would end up like this. Had we known, maybe we would have spent our time a little differently, learning to appreciate the moment while we were in it instead of not realizing what we had until it was gone. But now we know. We know that life can change in the blink of an eye and how long it takes for normalcy to return. So I urge each and every one of you, live your dash to the fullest. 
Don't let time pass by without seizing every opportunity to make it great. On our first day of high school, Mr. Bogger addressed the freshmen and asked us to make the most of the 720 days that we had as students at Westminster High School. We were told that these four years had the potential to be the greatest of our lives and that these days are simply what we chose to make them. Today, high school is over, and while these past four years have been anything but ordinary, we still have the rest of our lives to accomplish incredible things, to make an impact on our community, and to make our dash something remarkable. And now we are presented with the same opportunity that Mr. Bogger gave us almost four years ago. We hold our future in our hands, and the possibilities of what it might become are endless. The rest of our lives is what we make of them. So class of 2021, I challenge you to make your dash something great. Work hard, perfect your craft, earn your dream job, and make your parents proud. But don't forget to take the time to appreciate the world around you. Drive with your windows down, go get ice cream at midnight, watch the sunset, hold someone's hand, and be unapologetically yourself, because I promise the world needs whatever you have to offer. And years later, when you look back at your time at Westminster High School and compare it to where you are in that moment, I hope that you can confidently say you've lived your dash and are proud of who you have become. I would like to introduce the senior class assistant principal, Mr. Tom Klaus. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I have the best job of the evening. I get to announce or discuss all the great accomplishments of the class of 2021. So sit back, and here we go. I'd like to thank and express my great appreciation for the 165 students that satisfied the requirements of a state-approved career completer programs over at our Career and Tech Center. Will our career completers and career tech students please stand? <laughs> 56 of our graduates received the President's Award of Excellence they have received their Presidential Award for Excellence pins. These students have earned a non-weighted GPA of 3.5 or higher, an SAT math score of at least 650, an SAT verbal score of at least 630, ACT math or ACT English score of at least 27 or higher. Would those students please stand? This spring, many of our students who also attend the Career and Technology Center completed, excuse me, competed in the Maryland State Skills USA competition. In this competition, students compete against career and technology students from across the state. Westminster High had four students who received gold medals for being first in the state. Please stand as I call your name. Waverly Brennan, Mara Hoke, Allison Lord, and Braden Millian. Would Jeremy Dunn please stand to be recognized as a commended National Merit Scholar. Would Kerry Giesler please stand to be recognized as a U.S. Presidential Scholar. Alphabetically, the following students are in the top 5% of this class of 2021 20, based on the weighted GPA. These students are wearing gold cords. Students, please stand when I call your name. And audience, if you could please hold your applause to all students who are called. Once again, in alphabetical order, Matthew Anderson, Austin Bainbridge, Juliana Belts, Kate Boosie, Maggie Bowman, Abigail Quick, Emily Davis, Catherine DeLang, Jeremy Dunn, Martin Fimoletti, Kerry Giesler, Isabel Gilchrist, Elia Gregory, Lydia Hole, Matthew Kendig, Anders Madsen, Cameron Miller, 
Carissa Miranda, Emma Nirenberg, Sanjana Patel, Braden Salins, Eric Stranko, Phoebe Wang, and Abigail Wimmer. We'd like to honor our students who have received the final grade of A in every single high school course. We are proud to announce 39 of our graduates have achieved this honor. Would the following students please stand with a perfect final transcript as I call your name and audience once again please hold your applause to the end. Martina Adolfs, Matthew Anderson, Austin Bainbridge, Megan Beck, Juliana Belts, Lucas Bland, Kate Boosie, Benjamin Carlo, Abigail Quick, Emily Davis, Catherine DeLang, Jeremy Dunn, Aaron Eckerd, Martin Famoletti, Samantha Finazio, Carrie Giesler, Isabel Gilchrist, Alia Gregory, Megan Hands, Lydia Houle, Evan Jamison, Rachel Kramer, Connor Levinson, Anders Madsen, Cameron Miller, Emma Nirenberg, Sanjana Patel, Ariana Pillock, Michaela Reed, Braden Salins, Sydney Schnacki, Alexis Smith, Carson Snyder, Bradley Stinnett, Eric Stranko, Madeline Sunderland, Phoebe Wang, Abigail Wimmer, and Eric Wyskowiak. <laughs> this year, our seniors took a total of 513 exam, AP exams. 73 students in the class successfully completed seven to 10 advanced placement classes during their high school career. They were awarded the Principal Scholar Award. Please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Graduates, for those of you, 51 of you, who successfully completed 11 to 13 advanced placement courses, please stand to be recognized. 11 to 13. <laughs> 13 of our graduates successfully completed between 14 to 16 advanced placement courses. Graduates, if you completed between 14 to 16 AP courses, please stand. And would Carrie Giesler please stand? Carrie successfully completed 18 advanced placement courses during her four years at Westminster High School. <laughs> 156 of our students took 486 college classes while they're enrolled at Westminster High through our dual enrollment program. If you took a college class during your time at Westminster High, please stand. Our graduates logged more than 61,281.75 service hours over the course of their education. 50 students earned a meritorious service award for 300 hours or more. Ten of these students are also wearing an exemplary service pin for earning 494.5 service hours or more. Their, de their designation is listed in your program. Would those students wearing the pin of earning 494.5 or more service hours please stand? <laughs> Would Amanda Steele please stand? Amanda has been awarded the Service Star Award for accumulating over 1,351.75 service hours. <laughs> Would 
Would Lydia Hall please stand? Lydia has been awarded the Van Hollen Public Service Award for accumulating 1,280.75 service hours. The class of 2021 had great success in the world of athletics. Over the past four years, this year's graduates have participated and won 17 Carroll County championships, six regional championships, and five state championships, including boys lacrosse in 2018 and 19, girls lacrosse in 2018 and 19, field hockey in 2019. Will all the senior athletes please stand to be recognized? In the fine arts, Westminster has continued its tradition of excellence over the last four years with this graduating class. The marching band were Maryland State champions in the fall of 2019. The Honors Orchestra is the only orchestra in Carroll County to ever perform grade five level music as they receive the highest possible scores on that music in the spring of both 2019 and the spring of 2020. Band, orchestra, and marching band all performed at the Walt Disney World in January of 2020. Would Alethea Hoffman please rise? Alethea was selected for Maryland All-State course all four years while at Westminster High School. <laughs> Alethea, stay standing, please. Stay standing, Alethea. Would all senior fine arts students please join Alethea to be recognized? All senior fine arts students. Would Jeremy Dunn and Julia Rogulski please rise? Jeremy will be attending the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, Colorado this fall, and Julia will be attending West Point U.S. Military Academy in West Point, New York. Congratulations. Now I'd like those students who have decided to serve our country by joining the military and the armed forces after graduation to be recognized. And I would like all members of the audience who have served or are currently serving in our military to please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your service. And now to wrap up my part of the program, to the class of 2021, I think one word can sum up your accomplishments. Amazing. Congratulations, class of 2021. To my left, is a memory bouquet of red roses. It stands here in memory of all those owls who have lost, who we have lost, both here at Westminster High School and throughout our extended owls family. These roses represent the strength of Westminster High School and our community together. As our motto says, we are one. The main purpose of us being together this evening is to recognize the achievement of each individual who has met graduation requirements. The award associated with this achievement is a high school diploma. Students and parents have been waiting for 13 years to hear their name called and to watch them cross the stage to receive their diploma. Each student deserves their time on the stage and for their name to be heard. Therefore, the seniors respectively request that the audience hold their applause until all graduates have been recognized and then respond in an appropriate, dignified manner. I ask for the parents and families of our graduates to stand and be recognized when your graduate is called. Following the presentation of diplomas and the recessional, guests are reminded to remain seated until all graduates have exited the arena. As a reminder, graduates and guests should exit the facility as safely but quickly as possible to allow the next school to prepare for its ceremony. 
In addition, after the graduation, Westminster High School area is open for graduates to take photos throughout our campus. To honor this achievement with us, I would like to introduce a member of the WHS class of 1988. That is the correct year, right? 88? And a Westminster alumni, obviously. Superintendent of Carroll County Public Schools, Dr. Stephen Locker. Good afternoon and con congratulations, graduates. Um, I did want to make just two quick comments before we get going. Mr. Bowersox, thank you so much um, for your words, for your words of encouragement also, for reminding us of the important words and wisdom of Bird Brown. To our, our students, Brooke, Juliana, and Lydia, fantastic job, not only reflecting uh, on your years at Westminster High School, but also very insightful about what the future holds. Mr. Klaus, for sharing the incredible achievements uh, of the students of Westminster High School. We are incredibly proud of you, um, and I am honored to be a part of this special day. So I promise to be brief because I recognize in looking at the program, I'm the last thing before awarding the diplomas. So I have one piece of official business that I'm proud to share with you. At this time, I'd ask the graduates to please stand. It's with great pleasure and pride as superintendent of schools that I officially present the graduating class of 2021 of Westminster High School for the awarding of diplomas. The members of the Board of Education of Carroll County, Principal Bogger, and I certify that these graduates have successfully completed all the necessary requirements for a Maryland High School Diploma or Certificate. We congratulate each of you, and let's all give them a big round of applause. Once again, congratulations, best wishes, and you may now be seated. We will begin. Graduates, please rise. <laughs> Graduates, please come forward. Juliana Marie Belt. Brooke Marie Hodges. Lydia Grace Poole. Kayla Marie Adams. Martina Caroline Adolfs. Cameron Rush Anderson. Matthew Ryan Anderson. Jessica Giselle Argetta. Kelsey Sarah Armstrong. Austin Christopher Armsmeyer. Austin Spencer Bainbridge. Mercedes Savannah Baker. Cassidy Ann Barker. Chance J. Young Barnhart. Richard Drake Barnhill. Antonella Rocio Bartow. Nicholas Anthony Battaglia. 
Annabel Inez Beecham, Christopher Anthony Beaver, Tyler Jason Beaver, Megan Grace Beck, Cameron Ijen Belair Kuroko, Kaylee Nicole Behrens, Hannah Alexis Barkheimer, Stone Michael Berkowitz, Ishaben Benderi, Megan Hope Beesucker, Madeline May Blanchard. Lucas Matthew Bland, Ashley Marie Bean, Caroline Margaret Boone, Theodore Jameson Booth, Catherine Sarah Bosworth, Kate Francis Busey, Nolan Patrick Bowen, Andrew Joseph Bowen, Bowman, Maggie Elizabeth Bowman, Zion Cordell Boykins, Waverly Jane Brennan, William Hadley Britz, Jeremy Michael Brooks, Bradley Thomas Brown, Cameron Rashid Brown, Caroline Corinne Bryant, Emma Shea Bowie, Bailey Louise Burdine, Abigail Marley Burgess. Sean Robert Burke. Brennan Michael Burke. Christian Michael Burke. Sean Michael Burnett. Gwyneth Holt Burns. Dylan Shane Buzzard. William Clemeth Bird V. Alyssa Nicole Kane. Nathan Lee Capel. Benjamin Marcus Carlo. Savannah Lee Carnes. Lauren Jennifer Carpenter. Tyler Reed Castle. Brian Antonio Cienfuegos Molina. Caroline Ann Clark. Caitlin Ann Clark. Evan Scott Click. Jalen Marcel Clifton. Travis Lee Collins. Ian James Calhoun. Sabrina Como. Kiera Cyan Connolly. Taylor May Cook. Karen Jose Cortez Flores. Colby Glenn Catoya.
Corey Michael Cotter. Garrett David Cox. Isabella Lee Cristofoli. Cameron Ashley Crapper. Jack Ryan Cross. Emily Grace Crowder. Olivia Jade Crowder. Alexa Ann Cuddy. Kaylee Lynn Culata. Abigail Sion He Swick. Morgan Garrett Darby. Emily Jordan Davis. Catherine Snow Styling Delang. Zachary David DeMoss. Daniel Youssef Durgum. Hannah Jane Dever. Margaret Eileen DiPietro. Cameron Paul Dolan. Mackenzie James Dolan. Benjamin Wade Dorsey. Jaden Scott Dorsey. Jeremy West Dunn. Regan Elizabeth Dunn. Rory Page Dunn. William Christopher Dunton. Jordan Michelle Dunworth. Nicholas Starr Dustin. Owen Henry Eby. Aaron Nicole Eckerd. Dylan Joseph Edwards. Christina Lynn Eck. Catherine Renee Eck. Robert Charles Ellers, Jr. Martin Scully Familetti. Allison Juliana Ferguson. Nicholas Edward Fetner. Juliano Lorenzo Figueroa. Olivia Kirsten Figuli. Samantha Marie Fanazzo. Jennifer Ruth Fletcher. Ethan Squires Foot. Jaden Elias Frisbee. Wyatt Lee Fristacci. Thomas Ryan Funka. Annalie Olivia Gardner. Carrie Elizabeth Giesler. Alexander J. German. Isabel Marion Gilchrist. Noah Julian Glass. Jeremy Mitchell Goldberg. Destiny Nicole Gorman. Michael Evan Granada. Holly Nicole Griever. Aaliyah Marie Gregory. Trinity Renee Gribling. 
Sydney Leanne Griffin. Virginia Catherine Grimm. Jonas David Grove. McKenna Lyanne Groen. Gracie Rose Gescheidel. Marvin Antonio Gutierrez. Jake Walden Haas. Madeline Corinne Hadigan. Jackson Turner Hall. Tyler Thomas Hallman. Megan Elizabeth Hands. Anthony Benjamin Hansen. Breezy Ann Harrison. Aria Melody Harvey. Christian Daniel Heck. Courtney Leanne Heimer. Clint Walker Held. Ella Grace Hemline. Kirby Elizabeth Henneman. <laughs> Emma Elizabeth Herman. Brandon Kenneth Hill. Eric Scott Hill. Luke O'Brien Henricks. Madison Hope Hockenberry. Andrew Tyler Hoflick. Alethea Rose Hoffman. Nathan Bailey Holman. Mara Alexis Hoke. Jenna Lee Hapa. Paul Dalton Horvath. Madeline Mays Hoddle. Jenna Elizabeth Howard. Colton Lee Hudgens. Jack McGill Huey. Megan Elizabeth Hinson. Ronald Walter Jackson. Logan Quinn Jager. Maria Amadea James. Evan Martin Jamison. Matthew Daniel Jarrett. Alan Jean Joseph. Madison Alexandra Jenkins. Alexandra Damiana Jerome. Nicholas Anthony Johnson. Gabriel Brennan Jones. Luke Joseph Jurgensen. Stephen Michael Joyce. Jacqueline Phyllis Cars. Oh my gosh, Ella Jean Keck. Madeline Paige Kadirski. Darlene Rebecca Keeney. Justin William Keeney. Kayla Elizabeth Kelly. Matthew Jonathan Kendig. Alana Jill Kernan. Ahad Akram Khan. Justin Quentin King. Grant David Kincaid Jr. 
Thomas Maxwell Kozlowski. Rachel Elizabeth Kramer. Brooklyn Robin Kaczynski. Savannah Ann Kunkel. Jacob Brian Laws. Ayana Shari Lee. Nathan Alexander Lepo. Gabriel Patrick Levet. Jenna Ann Levet. Connor Albert Levinson. Davindra Lamont Lewis Jr. Kevin James Lignelli Jr. Christopher Davin Liv. Kaylin Sue Livingston. Benjamin Connor Lorch. Allison Sarah Lord. Avery Edward Lowe. Adriana Elena McCumbie. Anders Christian Madsen. Catherine Julia Manley. Amber Lee Manspeaker. Kaya Madison Martin. Madeline Ann McCabe. Kevin Thomas McCartan. Brady Sean McCarthy. Joseph Scott McDaniel. Tiernan Joseph McManus. Savannah Nicole McWilliams. Cameron Jessica Miller. Brayden Thomas Million. Carissa Hope Miranda. Paige Rochelle Miranda. Joandy Alberto Mitchell Soto. Alexandra Kinga Mogzak. Kayla Elizabeth Montgomery. Alexis Rebecca Morales. Connor Allen Moran. Lucy Elizabeth Moreland. Joshua William Morris. Dalton Jarrett Mount. Ian Patrick Mullen. Ryan Michael Murphy. Taylor Renee Murphy. Seth Robert Myers. Emma Leanne Marenberg. Pierce Austin Newbert. Lacey Ann Newhouse. Zachary Leonard Newhouse. Katie Lynn Nightingale. Samantha Barbara Noppenberger. Zachary James Novak. Jack Brennan O'Connell. Catherine Ann O'Connor. Omadesala Temi Laluwa Ola Demiji Stevens. Kevin James Olivet. Parker Aaron O'Neill. Hannah Christine Oscom. 
Gerald Thomas Oxford. Mackenzie Rose Oscar. Jay Kathan Parik. Catherine Lynn Perry. Julia Aaron Patch. Sanjana Varish Kumar Patel. Shalin Rashish Patel. Anna Grace Peed. Caroline Grace Peliquin. Sabrina Fian Fan. Ariana Marie Pillock. Kean Sky Piscatelli. Eden Sierra Platt. Holly Jacqueline Plumhoff. Brett Jeffrey Poff. Kimberly Hope Powell. Carly Elizabeth Prodell. Jessica Lynn Pruitt. Zoe Elizabeth Shabashevsky. Colin Michael Pumphrey. Jillian Kate Pomputis. Hadia Kazi. Lauren Elizabeth Wraith. Mary Ashley Ramsell. Michaela May Reed. Emily Nicole Reisner. Sabina Rinda. Madison Diane Roberts. Alexander Wesley Robinson. Noah Christopher Roach. Julia Elizabeth Rogalski. Olivia Gray Rohde. James Wrong. Elizabeth Ann Rosad. Hope Fallon Rosander. Emily Gabriella Rose. Anna Kathleen Rosinski. Alex Michael Ruth. Kaylee Morgan Sackerbon. Brayden Richard Salins. Madison Alexis Sale. Lauren Elizabeth Saltz. Jalen Lamar Samuels. Elena Nicole Savage. Thomas Walter Shankweiler IV. Brandon Hamilton Shearer. Sydney Rose Shinkai. Bailey Ann Schmidt. Bailey Allen Schneeman. Zachary Philip Schneider. Elsa Grace Schoberg. Mackenzie Ara Schreier. Trevor Stephen Scott. What's in Thomas Ray? I don't know how to say his name. Seda. Thomas Raymond Seda. Jermaine Anthony Segre Jr. Ethan Hayes Selby.
Lance Orla Orlando Sewell. Nadia Catherine Sharpston. Tyler Austin Shelton. Kyle Logan Scherfe. Jillian Lee Shipton. Caitlin Joy Simpson. Deja Patricia Skipwith. Alexa Morgan Smith. Amanda Claire Smith. Benjamin George Smith. Mackenzie Elizabeth Smith. Summer Noel Marie Smith. Carson Lawrence Snyder. Aaron Sorkin III. Regan Grace Starner. Amanda Lynn Steele. Ni Ryan Nicholas Steinbeck. Daniel Jacob Stevens. Bradley Keith Steinett. Aubrey Lauren Storm. Eric Scott Strenko. Mason Patrick Sullivan. Madeline Anna Sunderland. Ryan Charles Sunderland. Diego Ashton Taylor. Jacob Howard Teal. Jeremiah Shinzai Thomas. Luke William Thomas. Lillian Grace Tippett. Laura Elizabeth Tipton. Samuel Joseph Tobin. Alexis Mackenzie Troy. Colby Lane Tordeski. Caitlin Elizabeth Tordowski. Dale Edward Utz III. Victoria Ann Vannersdale. Philip Scott Vaughn Jr. Allison Page Volpe. Ava Elizabeth Brainy. Tristan James Wagner. Manu Amjad Waints. Abigail Paige Walker. Samuel Everett Walker. Brianna Latrice Wallace. Evan Michael Walton. Megan Nicole Walton. Phoebe Wang. Megan Grace Watkins. Lauren Elizabeth Weaver. Rebecca Lynn Weed. Ian Joseph Welch. Trinity Jade Wells. Christopher Wayne Wettingill. Jordan Mackenzie Wheeler. Samantha Lane White. Cameron Matthew Whitmer. Kalani Jade Wiles. Savannah Sky Williams. Derek Stanley Leon Williams. Garrett James Christopher Wilson. Abigail Lynn Wimmer. 
Haley Alexis Witter. Eric Gregory Wachowiak. Marion Grace Wood. Nicholas Xavier Wooden. Katie Nicole Wright. Abigail Elizabeth Yider. Mary Caroline Zeffel. Logan William Zaransky. Phoebe Ann Zaransky. Adam Daniel Zabignowicz. Marcos Francisco Zelaya. Krista Michelle Zephyr. Graduates, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present you the 121st graduating class of Westminster High School. Graduates, you may now turn your tassels. Will everyone please rise? Please join the class of 2021 as we honor Westminster High School with the singing of our alma mater. The words to the song are printed in the back of your program.